Have you ever wondered why you're conscious at all? Why you have this mysterious ability to experience, to feel, to be aware? It's the deepest mystery we know of. And today, science is finally starting to crack it open. But the answer isn't what anyone expected, because the latest research is forcing scientists to consider something that will completely transform how you see yourself and your place in the universe. What they're discovering isn't just groundbreaking, it's revolutionizing our entire understanding of reality itself. For the longest time, science has treated consciousness like it's just a byproduct of our brains, complex neural circuits firing away in the darkness of our skulls. But what if that's completely backward? What if consciousness isn't something created by our brains at all? What if it's actually the other way around? In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you why some of the world's leading scientists are now saying something that ancient mystics and spiritual teachers have claimed for thousands of years. That consciousness isn't just something we have, it's what we are. And not just us. It might be what everything is. If you're fascinated by the deeper mysteries of existence and want to understand where cutting-edge science meets ancient wisdom, hit that subscribe button and join our community of seekers and thinkers. And make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to share a mind-bending quantum physics experiment that has scientists questioning everything they thought they knew about the nature of reality itself. Let's start by understanding how we got here. Back in the 17th century, one of history's greatest scientists, Galileo Galilei, made a decision that would shape how we think about consciousness for the next 400 years. He decided to split reality into two domains. The objective world of matter, motion, and mathematics, and the subjective world of consciousness, experience, and sensation. Science would focus exclusively on the objective domain, things that could be measured, weighed, and quantified. This approach was incredibly successful. It gave us modern physics, chemistry, biology, the entire scientific revolution but it left consciousness itself out of the picture entirely. For centuries, this wasn't seen as a problem. Scientists assumed that once we understood the brain well enough, consciousness would simply turn out to be a kind of sophisticated computer program running on neural hardware. But something strange happened as neuroscience advanced. The more we learned about the brain, the more mysterious consciousness became. This is where things get fascinating. Scientists studying consciousness kept running into what philosopher David Chalmers calls the hard problem of consciousness. The problem is this. Even if you completely understand how the brain works, you still can't explain why any of that processing is accompanied by conscious experience. Think about it. Why does it feel like anything to be you? Why aren't you just a sophisticated robot, processing information but experiencing nothing? Why does the color red look like anything at all? Why does pain hurt? These questions point to something profound about the nature of consciousness. Something that our traditional scientific framework simply cannot explain. But now, a revolutionary new understanding is emerging. What if we've had it backwards all this time? What if consciousness isn't something that emerges from complex information processing in our brains? What if consciousness is actually fundamental to reality itself? And our brains are more like receivers that tune into it, rather than generators that create it. This isn't just philosophy. It's being supported by cutting-edge research in multiple fields. Let's start with quantum physics, where scientists have been grappling with something called the measurement problem for nearly a century. In quantum mechanics, particles don't exist in definite states until they're observed. Instead, they exist as waves of probability, multiple possibilities existing simultaneously. It's only when a conscious observer measures them that these possibilities collapse into a single definite reality. This is the famous observer effect, and it suggests something remarkable. The consciousness itself plays a fundamental role in creating the reality we experience. Some of the greatest physicists in history, including Max Planck and John Wheeler, 
have argued that this means consciousness must be fundamental to the universe itself. But here's where it gets even more mind-blowing. Because quantum physics isn't the only field suggesting that consciousness might be fundamental to reality. A revolutionary new theory called Integrated Information Theory, IIT, is suggesting something that would have seemed impossible just a few decades ago. Developed by neuroscientist Giulio Tononi, IIT proposes that consciousness isn't something that emerges from complex systems. It's actually a fundamental property of any system that integrates information. The more integrated the information, the higher the level of consciousness. Your brain, with its billions of neurons working in harmony, represents an extremely high level of integrated information, which is why you experience such rich conscious awareness. But according to IIT, some level of consciousness might exist in any system that processes and integrates information, from atoms to galaxies. If this sounds familiar, it might be because ancient spiritual traditions have been saying something similar for thousands of years. Buddhist philosophy speaks of universal mind. Hindu traditions talk about Brahman, the universal consciousness that underlies all reality. Indigenous cultures worldwide have long maintained that consciousness pervades all of nature. For the first time, modern science is beginning to catch up with this ancient understanding. But now we have mathematical models and experimental evidence to back it up. But why does this matter to you? Because if consciousness is fundamental to reality, it completely transforms how you should think about yourself and your place in the universe. You're not just a biological machine generating consciousness in your brain. You're more like a focal point of universal consciousness, a unique perspective through which the universe experiences itself. Your thoughts, feelings, and awareness aren't isolated phenomena. They're connected to something vastly larger. This isn't just abstract philosophy. It has practical implications for how you live your life. Research has shown that when people understand themselves as part of a larger conscious reality, it affects everything from their mental health, to their relationships, to their sense of purpose. Studies on meditation and mindfulness, for instance, show that practices that help us tune in to this larger field of consciousness can reduce stress, improve emotional regulation, and even alter the physical structure of our brains. Now, as promised, let me share with you one of the most shocking experiments in the history of consciousness research. It's called the double slit experiment. And it shows something that should be impossible if consciousness isn't fundamental to reality. When scientists fire particles through two slits, they create an interference pattern as if they were waves passing through both slits simultaneously. But here's the weird part. If they measure which slit each particle goes through, the interference pattern disappears and the particles behave like solid objects. In other words, the mere act of conscious observation changes how reality behaves at the most fundamental level. This has led some physicists to suggest that consciousness actually plays a role in creating the reality we experience. Think about what this means. Every time you make an observation, you're not just passively recording reality. You're participating in creating it. Your consciousness isn't just aware of the universe. It's an active part of how the universe manifests itself. This connects to ancient wisdom traditions that have long taught that our thoughts and intentions can influence reality. Modern research on the placebo effect in psychoneuroimmunology is showing how our conscious beliefs and expectations can literally change our biological reality. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. This sounds too far out there. But remember, many of history's greatest scientific discoveries seemed impossible at first. When Einstein proposed that time itself could slow down, it seemed absurd. When quantum physicists suggested that particles could be in two places at once, it seemed crazy. The idea that consciousness is fundamental to reality might seem radical now, but it's supported by a growing body of evidence from multiple scientific fields, and it explains many mysteries that our current materialistic framework cannot. As this understanding continues to develop, 
It could revolutionize everything from medicine to technology to our understanding of human potential. If consciousness is fundamental to reality, it means we've barely begun to tap into its true capabilities. But perhaps most importantly, this new understanding of consciousness gives us a scientifically grounded way to reclaim something we've lost in our modern world. A sense of deep connection to the universe itself. You're not just a temporary collection of atoms in an unconscious void. You're an expression of the universe's fundamental nature. A way for reality itself to know and experience itself. Your consciousness isn't isolated. It's connected to something vast and meaningful. So what does this mean for you? Start paying attention to your own consciousness. Notice how your thoughts and intentions seem to influence the reality around you. Practice meditation or mindfulness to tune into this deeper field of awareness. The evidence is becoming clearer every day. Consciousness isn't just something we have, it's what we are. And as science continues to verify what ancient wisdom has long maintained, we're entering a new era of understanding that could transform how we see ourselves and our place in the cosmos. If you found this mind bending, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos exploring the deepest mysteries of consciousness and reality. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the idea that consciousness might be fundamental to the universe itself? And if you want to dive deeper into this fascinating topic, check out our next video on the shocking experiments that suggest your consciousness can actually influence events in the past. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. And remember, you're not just in the universe. You are the universe becoming conscious of itself.